In this TIA Tech Tip, we'll be discussing calibration of the multi-cell differential scanning calorimeter. During the calibration, the data has already been collected and now it's going to be processed in Excel. In this first sheet, what I've done is I've gone to either the internet or to the NIST website and gotten the theoretical values for the sapphire data of the heat capacity. So I have the temperature and heat capacity measurements that were provided to me. And then I need to go through several unit changes to eventually get to a heat capacity in the unit of microjoules per gram degree C. In order to do these unit changes, the molecular weight of the material needs to be known. At this point, I will plot on the x-axis the temperature and on the y-axis the heat capacity, as done in chart one. The data has been fitted to a second order polynomial and now these values for this entire equation are written down. Now the experimental data for the sapphire that was ran in the MCDSC can be processed. In the first column is the temperature and in the second column is the wattage. In this case with the units of microjoules per second. So both of these have been copied and exported from the MCDSE run analysis software NanoAnalyze. In the third column, we have the equation that was determined using the theoretical heat capacity. So we have all of these coefficients that came from that fit of the second order polynomial. And then for the values that we put in for X, it's the temperature values that we actually used in this experiment. In the next column over, we, keep, we take that theoretical heat capacity in column C, and then multiply it by the weight of the sample in grams and the average scan rate. And in this case, we need to make a conversion again on the units. Instead of one C per minute, it needs to be in seconds. The final column is the calibration factor. In this column, column D is divided by column B. Finally, what's plotted is column A, the temperature, versus column E, that calibration factor. This data is plotted and then fit to a second order polynomial. The values of these fits, or the coefficients, are then used in the MCDSC run software, where this would be coefficient A, coefficient B, and coefficient C, those numbers that we previously changed to zero. After all three data sets are processed of the three different ampules, now the coefficients A, B, and C are then loaded into the MCDSC run software and the instrument's been calibrated for those specific ampules.